evening, I'm Jackie Spate. People working at a supermarket in Laudala Bay had a close call today. A 10-wheeler truck crashed into the Sardar trading store after the driver allegedly lost control. It's believed the truck was turning from Nailuva Road into Grantham Road. However, the driver failed to negotiate the bend. The truck tore down a safety railing and smashed through a wall before stopping. The front portion of the vehicle ended up in the supermarket and damaged items inside. I heard the sound. I heard the sound. I just seen the glass. I see the truck coming inside the, inside the shop. Eh? Same time I see, I see the glass break. Same time I run at the back. I run at the back. Same time I see the truck already come inside. The truck driver has been taken in for questioning by police. More people are being taken in for questioning as police widen their investigation into the disappearance of cocaine from CID headquarters. Two civilians were interrogated over the last 24 hours and released this afternoon. Director CID ASP Vakadengu Tonduandua confirms some of the missing drugs have been recovered. He says more civilians and police officers will be brought in for questioning as investigations continue. It's believed the drugs are worth a substantial amount on the streets. Residents in Baulevu Nausori are pleading with authorities to repair a wooden bridge that broke three months ago. It's a danger to the hundreds who use the bridge every day. Last week, a student fell off the walkway and had to be rescued by passers-by. It's the only link for hundreds who live in Baulevu. But using this bridge comes with its own dangers. In one instance, a student's bag uh, was uh, tapped by a bus and uh, the student fell over. Lucky we had a, a passenger from the bus who dived and saved the boy. That's not the only incident. Last Friday night, a young boy was trapped on the bridge. His foot was caught up in this gap where pieces of timber have broken off. The fear now is that one day someone could lose their life. Till now, it has only been maintained uh, a little bit here and there upon the complaint made by the people around this area. This bridge, connecting thousands of people from Baulebu to Nosori, collapsed earlier this year. Temporary works were done. However, it's still in a poor state, with holes seen in most parts of it. Residents claim huge trucks used for logging are making the problem worse. The bridge has a 10 ton limit. But this is the only way to reach the logging area. For the welfare of the students and the general public, I think that the relevant authorities should um, construct a new two-way bridge uh, with walkways um, provided for the pedestrians. Queries have been made with the Works Ministry. Sharin Lata, FBC News. Spokesperson Ilyesa Sokir this afternoon referred all questions to the Fiji Roads Authority.